In this video, I'm going to be discussing whether you can send cold emails from your primary domain. The short answer is you shouldn't, but I'll get into the exact details later on in the video. I'm George, I'm the founder of Email Chaser. Let's get into it. If you don't know what a primary domain is, then that's just the domain that's associated with your company's real website. For example, my company is Email Chaser and our primary domain is emailchaser.com. If I was sending cold emails from my primary domain, I would be sending them, for example, from george at emailchaser.com. The problem with that is that if you don't really know what you're doing and you make a mistake when you're sending your cold emails, which is actually relatively easy to do, then you're going to burn your domain, meaning that email service providers such as Gmail and Outlook are going to blacklist your domain, meaning that any future emails are going to go to spam. And that's not just future emails to external people, even emails to your existing contractors or existing employees or staff members, it all gets messed up. And as a result, you don't want to take the risk of sending cold emails on your primary domain because that can really impact the long-term operations of your business for all email communication, even internally. So instead, what you want to do is buy secondary domains and then set up email accounts on those secondary domains and then send your cold email campaigns from those secondary domains, meaning that if someone on your team, for example, makes some mistake and they have a really high bounce rate because they sent a bunch of cold emails to a list that was not not verify, for example, then it's not going to impact your entire organization's email deliverability on the primary domain. So what that looks like in practice is you buy multiple secondary domains, such as in the context of email chaser, get emailchaser.com, try emailchaser.com, emailchaserhq.com, emailchaserapp.com, and you can just keep going down in that way. So you can add as many domains as you want if you want to scale your outreach. But the point is that you're not sending from your primary domain to protect the deliverability of that as, as you can't replace your primary domain. I'm now going to take you into my email chaser dashboard to show you how you can connect all of these secondary domains to your cold email campaigns. I'm inside my email chaser dashboard. And as I mentioned earlier, you can create secondary domains. And one of the nice things about email chaser is that you're able to connect an unlimited number of sender email accounts to a campaign and that allows you to scale your sending volume so as you can see when you're creating a campaign you eventually get to this page where it says select the email accounts that you'll be sending your campaign with and as you can see i only have two email accounts currently connected to this demo account one of them is a microsoft 365 email account the other one is a google workspace account however email chaser lets you add an unlimited number of sender email accounts so if i really want to do high volume i could connect 20 email accounts for example connect them all to the same campaign and then through inbox rotation, email chaser will automatically rotate the sending between all 20 email accounts so that you're able to send a higher volume. And two things I'll say. The first is not everyone needs to send a high volume. I'm not saying that every single situation sending high volume is a good idea. So please just take this with a grain of salt. And the second thing is that the reason why you would want to connect multiple sender email accounts to single campaign is because each email account should only send about 40 cold emails per day. Otherwise, if you send more than that, you risk going to spam. So the way that you scale your outreach is by creating additional email accounts on additional secondary domains. And then each one's only sending 40 per day. But because you have so many connected to your campaign, you're actually able to send a higher overall volume. So for example, if you had 20 email accounts connected to your campaign, each sending 40 per day, then you'd be sending about 800 emails per day while still hitting the primer inbox and not going to spam. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more videos like this about cold email sales, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to start sending cold emails, then I recommend that you sign up for a free email chaser account. I hope to see you in the next video.